Hey guys, it's me Serena, and in this video, I want to show my top 10 favorite games in Roblox. So let's go and get this party started. Me is like a pets game where you can collect a bunch of pets for either money or Robux. And some of them can also be like mini game things like things like candy corn, candy, Christmas trees, a bunch of other cool things. You can also get pets from eggs, like with this danger egg. This is like a Robux pet. This is an egg pet, and this is an invent pet. All of these pets are not obtained through the same way. Like this came from an egg, and this also came from an egg. And also there are three forms, normal, neon, and mega. Neon requires the four of the same pet to be full grown to make neon, and four neons to make a mega. So you can also um, grow up pets and you have a house which you can upgrade into almost anything you want. Mansion, pizza place, a, like a big home, a tree house and there are also a bunch of tasks that you can do to get a bunch of money or potions. And you can also get a bunch of money which is very easy. And also you can get a bunch of other cool things like a piano. And that is all about adopting. And there's also a neighborhood. And this is the candy corn I was talking about. And basically this is like the neighborhood. Right now it's Halloween, that's why there's some Halloween things here. And yeah, that's basically it for Adopt Me. And guys, in this game, this is my ninth favorite game. So let me tell you all about it. This game is like a chilling game that you can basically collect chests and they will have better loot depending on what the chest looks like. These are also how many like wins and deaths you have and kills and win streak is maybe how many games you want in a row. And the more higher your level, you can get a, like capes for it. And there is also a leaderboard for like kills and wins. And there are a bunch of very fun game modes that you can even fight your friends in the custom game mode. And that is all I have to say about my ninth favorite game, Sky Wars. This is my eighth favorite game and it's called Block and Props. Now, if you have never played Jenga before, basically there are a few players. One of them is the destroyer and they can throw things from like a sun to a car to like a vehicle, to a truck, and basically like a garbage can, a lot of other things. And basically, you need to knock out all of the players on the tower or else you lose the game. And this game is very fun, it's very also simple, and basically, you can, it's basically like you knock out, like if you're a destroyer, then you have to knock out all the players. This is me right here. And down there is a destroyer who has to kill us all in this uh, yeah game. And that's all I have to say about my eighth favorite game, Block and Props. This is my next game called Strongest Battlegrounds. Now this game, you have a bunch of heroes to choose from and they all have very special abilities including swords and fists. Now, basically, this game is kind of like a fighting game, but with very cool powers. And you can even grab trash cans with your hands to try and throw at people and destroy them. So yeah, it basically has all of these abilities like punch. these punches, which are very fast, shove, which sends them flying, and this basically um, just lifts up your fists in the sky. And kills them and when you get the ultimate aka um, serious mode or whatever hero you're using it will be it will like evolve your powers and make it much stronger here is me also grabbing a trash can and that is all I really have to say about the game and this is my seventh favorite game strongest battlegrounds guys this is my sixth favorite game pet simulator X now, in this game, you have a bunch of very cool worlds. Let me show you 
one of them and this is my favorite world and that is cat world basically this is like an army of cats everything it seems like fun world is the first world fantasy is the second tech world is the third world the void is the fourth one then the adult world is the best one Strongest. You also have the diamond one and the trading blossom because you can trade pets and you have diamonds and currency. But if you think it's too easy, you will be wrong because there is a mode also called hardcore mode where it makes it a lot harder to grind it. So guys, good luck on grinding hardcore mode because it will take you a very long time to get very good. And this is basically how it works. You basically just go around and beat all of these like chests up and get a bunch of money from them. And that's all for my sixth favorite game, Pet Simulator X. My fifth favorite game, and this is called Flee the Facility. Flee the Facility is a game where that you have two, you have chance, you have a chance of being a hunter, aka seeker. And you have to find all of the hiders and if the and the hiders need to hack computers to win the game. Let me show you an example. And also, while the game is starting, like this is me as a beast. Like basically, you basically have a hammer and you have to put them all in like a fridge in order to win. And also, you can get a bunch of cool like hammers. Like you can buy some hammers and you can even trade hammers in this game. Like for example, my goal right now is to def is to put every player in a ice cube that way they freeze to death and I win this game. And that's all for my fifth favorite game, Flee the Facility. Basically a game where that you have to make it to door 100 with a lot of monsters hunting you down. Now, the thing is, there are two modes of this game. There are the normal mode and the hardcore mode. Now let me only explain the normal mode for now. Now the normal mode has a bunch of characters. Let me name some of them for you guys. And also there are some tools here that you can buy to make it a lot easier for you guys. And you can be in a player lobby of one player to 12 players. And there are a lot of monsters that can include like Rush, Ambush, Figure, Halt, and Jack. Now those are uh, monsters are gonna try and kill you. And you have to make a door 100 before they kill you with keys and a bunch of other things. And also if Rush or Ambush come, hide in the closet. And if Figure comes, the one that is like blind, you need to crouch using this button. That way you won't make a lot of sound because he uses hearing and all of his other senses to try and find you. And Ambush is like Rush, like Rush goes by and just destroys all the lights and tries to kill you, but if you're in the closet, he can't kill you. And if you stay in the thing for too long, you die. And this is one of the monsters called Eyes. He's blue and has a bunch of eyes, and you take damage if you're looking at them. And that is basically all for the game. And figure, even if you go in a closet, he can still easily find you. And this is one of the items, and it's called Lighter. It basically lights up very dark rooms. It lights up very dark rooms. And that's all I really have to say about the game. My fifth favorite game, Door. For the game, aka Slap Battles. Slap Battles is a game where you can get a bunch of gloves while doing very hard missions. Let me show you one of the gloves. This is my favorite glove. It's called the Dream Glove. Now basically, it makes you very fast. Like see, this is making it very fast. And the point of the game is that you have to slap people. And right now it's Halloween, so if, if you get 2,000 candy corns, you can summon zombies with your um, glove. And basically, that's really it. It's really just a slapping game. And it's nothing like special, it's basically just like a slapping game. And also there are very hard badges you can get. And that's all I can say for my third favorite game, Slap Battles.
second favorite game, Blocks Roots. Now, Blocks Roots is a very good game that will be updated very, very soon. And also, you can even haunt down players with some very cool things. Here is my best gun, and this is my sword. It's the best sword in the game. And also, there are a bunch of fruits you can get here, like a bunch of fruits. And you have fighting styles to fight um, people. And this is a One Piece inspired game. So if you haven't watched the anime One Piece, well, you need to um, watch it to understand. And basically, this is like a game inspired by One Piece. And you basically get a bunch of cool swords, like this cool sword right here, which has a lot of cool abilities. And you can get this gun, which makes you super powerful with life reach, which basically takes pl um, players HP, aka health, from the other opponents. And there are over 50 fruits, and it's going to be updated pretty soon. And that's all I have to say for my second favorite game, Block Truths. Last, but not least, Roblox. Blade Ball. Blade Ball is a game where that there's a ball coming for you. If there's like a red thing on your character, then you will need to click the block button to make sure the ball doesn't hit you and explode on you. And there are a bunch of cool swords and explosions you could get. And this it has an AFK rule, which means if you don't want to play, you can AFK for rewards. And it has a bunch of cool um, skills. Like you can use like the Reaper, the Phantom, the Shadow Step, the Infinity, a lot of those cool things. And here's a scythe that is very cool. This is what the scythe looks like. And you can buy some of these for free. Like some of them cost a lot of money to buy them. And that's all I have to say for my favorite game. Blade Ball. Thank you for watching my videos and make sure to like and subscribe and share this to your friends so they can see how I showed my top 10 favorite games in my opinion. If you want to, you may show your favorite games in the comments and I will for sure read them and I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Now all you all, you will all see me in the next episode and bye!